Well, good morning. We were going to tow that truck uh, back to the main fleet repair shop because uh, the customer stated it was losing oil pressure and uh, it would start up, have oil pressure, and then it would just lose it and start running rough, so I shut it right back off. Um, so I came over to tow it back to the fleet repair shop. Uh, here at the local U-Haul, they don't have a facility to mess with, they don't have time to mess with, whatever, they've got a million other trucks here to deal with. So uh, it was just tow this to the fleet shop, engine might be going bad, we'll get it replaced. But uh, we might do something a little different today. Because what was said was when you start it up, it would get oil pressure and it would run with that for just a little bit here and then it would just start dropping back down lose oil pressure and they'd shut it back off and where this thing was sitting was in kind of a screwed up spot to uh load without completely blocking the whole road with my truck it's a busy road in the mornings i didn't want to do that so i thought hey it's got oil pressure right at first what if i could start it up pull it out get it in line with my truck shut it back off as long as it has oil pressure while i do that we're good so i do that and uh I get lined up my truck here. We've still got good oil pressure. Everything seems fine. So I sit, I put it back in park and I let it idle. And sure enough, it starts dropping back down. So I shut it off. Then I think we should probably look into that a little bit. So I uh, don't find the hood release. And then I open the hood. You see, I'm just filming on my phone today by my shadow because that's all I got with me. And let's check the oil here real quick. Just make sure that's not the problem and uh there's no oil that that black spot on the bottom that's the bottom of the stick that's not oil so there's no oil here so i call up the main man when it comes to repairs back there at the u-haul shop i say hey uh this thing don't have any oil in it and he says well it definitely had oil in it before it left because they checked the oil before it goes out on the rental uh, and if it burned that much oil in that short of a rental, yeah, the motor's probably going bad. Um, unless it's leaking somewhere. So I go, well, not leaking here. Let's look down here. Not leaking up here, but there's a spot right there. So we crawl under here, and what do you know? It's leaking right out of here at the oil filter. So we check and see, and sure enough, the oil filter's loose. And there's that oil. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this thing here for a minute. I'm going to run to the parts store, grab some oil, maybe an oil filter too. At least get that thing tightened back up. Put some oil in it, fire it up and see if we got oil pressure. And luckily today I got the perfect rig for running around town to parts stores, picking up oil. Well, let's, uh, Let's go find us a parts store that we can fit in and see what we can get. Okay. Let's see what they got in here. What? Well, that doesn't help. Okay. On to the next one. Which one? High mileage, used hard, put away wet. Exactly what we need. All right, let's see if this fixes it. We'll just park here in the street. Okay, just, uh, I pulled the oil filter gasket or the oil filter off gasket looked fine so i just put it back on now we'll get some oil in there and see uh see what happens and i also found my chesty mount camera so i can use that while i put oil in and have both my hands to do stuff nice thing about these trucks is they come with built-in funnel holders okay let's uh pop the hood Find the release that I can never find. Hey, I found it. Prop it up. Open sesame. And no oil there either. Let's 
5W30. Did I remember that right? I did. I was hoping that's what it was. I wasn't super sure. Okay. I'm just going to assume that it needs a lot. So we'll put this whole thing in and then check it. And then we'll move it up onto the street where it's level and check it there before we're like done done. Oh, I spilled a little. Luckily I have some rags here from the oil filter. Clean that up. Ah! Oh no! This is not going well. Ah! <laughs> yes. Now we need more rags. Never said I was good at this. Okay, you go back in the oil filter holder. Story of my life. Try to clean up a tiny little mess and make a huge one instead. Um, the oiler? Oh yeah. Oh, that like did it. Almost perfectly. Okay, let's put this back. Let's start it up. Let's see what happens. Then we'll move it up to the street where it's level, if all is good. And uh, we'll check our level to make sure we're good. All right. Please be good. Oil pressure, come to me. Look at that. Now let's see if it holds, which it seems to be doing. So what it was doing was, uh, they said you start it, oil pressure would come up, and uh, in about 10 seconds or so, it would just start dropping back down to nothing, and they'd have to shut it off because it had no oil pressure. When all the oil was drained out of the engine and was sitting down in the pan, like when this thing was off, the pickup tube that sucks up the oil down there was sitting in oil, even though it was very low. And then once it sucked up enough oil to fill the engine with oil as it's running, uh, that oil level in the pan dropped down, pickup tube sucked air, oil pressure drops. And now we're, we're sitting here at 40 pounds of oil pressure still, so. And then if you rev it, it jumps up just like it should, and it should go right back down to 40, maybe just a hair under, and stop. Bam right there okay so I'll back this up onto the street where it's nice and level and then we'll check the oil level for certain top it off right where it needs to be and uh, this thing might be good to go make sure it's not leaking again of course and don't rear in the back of my truck that I can't see uh, probably right there. Yeah, right where it should be. Let's shut it off and check it out. I had plenty of room. Nice and level, sitting in the street. Swipe this off really good so there's no question we are just a hair low a couple quarts looks like so I'll put some more in it And I'm gonna put this down here this time before I even start. Cause I know me and I make messes.
Oh, that's empty. That's the full one. Well, that's probably a couple quarts ish. Set that there so it falls down in the battery compartment and makes a mess of that too. Oil filter holder. Did I wipe this off? I did. Bam! Just maybe a hair over, but that's fine. That's what breather tubes are for. So, clean up all our messes. You're noisy. Hey, good steer. Make it look like we were never here, except for now it's clean in spots. Make sure we don't forget that. Put our cap back on. Clean up all our trash. Put this in here and I'll forget it till next time I need this stuff and it'll be covered in trash. Okay. There we go. So this one got the keys turned back in. That truck's good to go. Uh, I drove it around a bit. Holds oil pressure all just fine. And uh, yeah, ready to rent back out. Now, I'm not a fan of talking myself out of a job, which I totally just did because that wasn't like a simple tow across town. That was a tow to their fleet shop that's three hours away, plus three hours back, plus your load, unload time, all that. This was a seven hour job with the big truck. That had been a really good payday, but it was totally unnecessary. So I don't want to talk myself out of a job, but I also don't want to do things that are unnecessary and uh, give customers big bills that they really didn't need to incur. Now, it was the world famous Nate Goodwin who said one time when a customer asked him at, uh, at Elite Fleet uh, Automotive, uh, customer brought a vehicle in for a big repair, approved the repair, all that. They dug into it, realized, hey, it's not this big thing that you think it is and all this stuff. It's just this little cheap thing. So boom, fixed, a couple hundred bucks, you're out of here. And the customer was like, man, I, you could have totally billed me for all that. And he said, and it's very true, and it's kind of how I run my business too, is I don't want your money, just your business. And that right there, long term, is the way to go. I mean, yeah, I would have made a lot more money today if I would have towed that truck all the way over the mountain into the valley and come back. But I'll make a lot more money in the long run by doing what is right by my customers and not handing them a big, huge bill just because I can. So that is going to be, yeah, that's it for this one because uh, my big, long day just got really short. Of course, I'm going to bill them for the time I spent here doing that, but that's nothing compared to that. But I, I'm still getting paid fairly for the time I put in. They got the service they needed everybody happy. So hope you guys enjoyed that one and uh, see you next time.